Welcome to my kitchen. Chinese New Year is just around the corner. So today, I'm going to make a traditional dish called Buddha's Delight. In Cantonese, it's called Lo Hon Jai. This savory vegetarian dish is naturally enjoyed by the Buddhists. But just about everyone loves it. It's full of enticing flavors and textures. During the first day of New Year celebrations, we always begin our meal with a big pot of Buddha's delight. Let's look first at the ingredients and I'll show you how to make it. On the left are the basic ones and those on the right are optional. The basic ingredients are mung bean noodles, dry lilies, black fungus, dry shiitake mushrooms, and black moss. The black moss is included for good luck. In Cantonese, it's called fat choy, which actually sounds like the Chinese word for prosperity. This is the only recipe that I know of that uses it. On this other tray are my optional ingredients. You can use as much or as little of these as you like. There are no specific quantities. I'll be naming these later when I prepare them. We begin by hydrating the dry ingredients. Soak them until they are soft. It takes about 30 minutes each except for the black moss, which takes only 10 minutes. After soaking, rinse and drain. Step number two is preparing the vegetables. Remove both ends and the stringy sides of the snap peas. Cut the vegetables into bite-sized pieces. Slice the ginger. If you like, you can carve a simple design into the carrot. Remove the hard end of each lily. Then make a simple overhand knot for better texture. Remove the hard stems from the black fungus. Also, remove the stems from the mushrooms. Then, if you like, cut a star in the middle of each one for better presentation. We now move on to step number three, combining the flavoring and sauce ingredients. This will be red fermented bean curd, light soy sauce, vegetarian oyster sauce, sesame oil, and water chestnut powder. This powder is a flavorful sauce thickener. You can substitute cornstarch for it if you don't have it on hand. Start with half a cup of water, mixing all the ingredients. Stir them and set it aside. All the ingredients are now prepped. It's time for the final step, which is cooking the dish. Traditionally, Buddha's Delight is cooked using the bracing method. I'm cooking with a clay pot, but you can use a wok if you like. With a medium frame, heat 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Saute the ginger and shiitake mushrooms to bring out their aroma. Add the fermented bean curd. By the way, notice that unlike most Chinese recipes, this one doesn't call for garlic. You pour it just enough water to cover it. Put the lid on and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Dish out the ginger slices and discard. Next, you add the ingredients that take longer to cook, such as fungus and tofu. Add a quarter cup of water. Cover and cook for 5 minutes. Now, you gradually drop in the other ingredients. 
space them out according to their cooking times. Here are the lilies and straw mushrooms. Along with the carrot. Oh, and then pour in the sauce. Stir it thoroughly. Time to add the nettle cabbage, baby corn and noodles. Give it a good stir, then add the remaining of the ingredients. Mustard green, bamboo shoots and snap peas. Let it go for a minute or so. We are almost there. Finally, drop in the black moss, which we hope will bring us prosperity. Push it down to soak up the sauces. Cover the dish and continue to simmer for three more minutes. Our Buddha's delight is done. You can serve it right out of the clay pot or dish it if you prefer. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. If you found this recipe useful, remember to give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. I'll see you again in my next video.